It's time to go. Well, hello there. Almost didn't see you guys. With all the building I've been doing for the past two days nearly, like two real life days, it has taken me quite a while to, be to build all this. I'm not even joking. Remember last episode I was saying I'm not a very good builder? Well, this is kind of why. It takes me a very long time. But this is what we got so far. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Vault Hunters. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. I really do hope so. And boy, oh boy, do we have some updates. We are ready this episode. We are ready to go. We're going to be doing quite a bit of stuff. Uh, but as you can see, I've, I've, I finally did some building. This is going to be kind of the main hub area for a little bit. I am going to build out and extend. Um, so yeah, let me give you a quick little tour. Very, very quick one. This is the front door. I'm not really a fan of those doors, but it works. You know, this is the crossroad that we talked about last episode. And uh, I've kind of decided to go for a little bit of a diagonal build. Right, as you can see that we have the circular build now. We've got the walls. It looks so nice. It looks so nice <laughs> on the mini-map. But yeah, so it's a little bit more of a diagonal build. Like, this is the middle going this way. Instead of being, you know, straight, square, and blocky. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. It's kind of funky. This is going to be the, the main central area where... This is where our vault uh, altar is going to go. Where we need to make the keys so we can eventually have our portal there. I just made it out of cobblestone to kind of get a, a rough idea on, you know, how big it's going to be. Uh, but yeah, our portal will be there. We'll have our vault altar right here where we make our keys. And then we go and do our runs. Uh, I think for now, I'm going to have storage kind of over this area. I just made all these chests. I'm getting low on wood. I still have quite a bit. I have more than enough, I think. Yeah, I do. Um, but you can imagine the amount of trees I chopped down um, took quite a while. And these guys, oh my lord, this was quite quite a build. This took me a while. And uh, the villagers were a little funky. For some reason, after picking them up, some of them lost their trades and a little bit, uh, you know, unfortunate in that regard. But I, I, we have everything else we need. So <laughs> this is just the librarians. We still have uh, the other stuff like the clerics. And the farmers, I'm going to set up the farmers in here and let them kind of roam around. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, so this is just the librarian little market over here. I, I decided to make it kind of look like a market, sort of, kind of. I tried my best. Like I said, I'm not really a builder, but we got like sharpness, looting three, efficiency five, unbreaking two because... I couldn't find um, I'm breaking three. The only time I found it was 64 emeralds. So this way I can buy two books. It's a little bit more expensive with books, um, but it only costs 24 emeralds to get unbreaking three. So I thought that was quite nice. But moving on, we got protection four. We got aqua infinity, uh, fortune three. One of the most important mending, the old mending enchantment. That's so cheap, by the way. 14 emeralds for mending. I'm pretty sure you can get it cheaper, but that's that's our that's our luck. We got power four over here for our bow, uh, silk touch. We also have smite five, which is going to be really nice. Look how cheap that is too. Seventeen emeralds and infinity for our bow. So we are pretty much ready to go to the Nether this episode and get ourselves our blaze rods and fight the Ender Dragon. That's right. We're fighting the Ender Dragon this episode. I'm really, really excited. What I'm mostly excited for, though, is actually the support that you guys actually showed on episode one. I want to quickly mention that. Thank you guys so much for that. It really does mean a lot. Um, it means more than you could probably know, to be honest. But I really do appreciate the support. And I'm glad that you guys are kind of excited to see this and 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 come along with this journey with me. Because it's going to be a lot of fun. And if I keep going with this, uh, with this mod pack, this could go for many, many episodes. A long time. That's what I'm hoping for anyways. But yeah. We are ready to upgrade. I actually can strip this armor off um, and we can upgrade. We can put on some diamond gear and uh, and actually get some upgrades. So I think I'm going to do that. We need to retire our hoe as well. Actually, you know what? Let's use this item frame. 
This is our, our poor stone hoe. <laughs> it got me so many carrots and so many trades. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm about to do? Yeah, I think some of you might already know what I'm about to do. I'm upgrading. I am upgrading our stone hoe to diamond. This poor stone hoe has gone through the ringer and it's time to uh, to retire it. Where can we retire it? I want to kind of have... I need to kind of set myself up with some, like, like a little living quarters area, you know, with like my bed and all that stuff. I'm, all this stuff I'm going to move. Um, this is just full of chain leggings because of the, uh, because of the armorer. Uh, the fact that I, I was trading with him, just chain leggings to get the upgrade. So I need to get rid of those. Um, but yeah, we need a place to retire this hoe. You know what? For now, I think just for now, even if we want to move it, we'll put it here so it overlooks the farm and, uh, We'll place it right there. <laughs> you know what? Guys, leave a name down in this down in the comments. Leave a suggestion for a name and what we should call this this hoe. It uh it, it got us through quite a bit. And uh, oh this is actually oh this is this is important. I need to use this now. But leave it yeah, leave some comments down below what you I could rename that if uh, we get some comments on it. But anyways, let's upgrade our armor. We're gonna take this stuff off. Um you know what? Let's go ahead and get a spot to retire the armor as well, because why not? Why not? This armor has served as well. We didn't really use it that much in the sense of like fighting mobs or anything like that. But hey, it is our first set of armor. It's kind of historic um, and we kind of want to save it. So there we go. There's our iron armor. It's time for the upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for our diamond armor. But before we do that, uh, we need to grab this, this, this. That's for our bow we have the ender pearls already because of the trades but um yeah before we want to enchant these diamond uh armor pieces we need to remove the enchantments from it some of them are okay they're pretty decent right but we want the best of the best which is what we've worked so hard for so we come into here into the grindstone and we strip the enchantments boom just like that now with that out of the way, we can head on over to our villager marketplace and upgrade this armor and make some tools Hello, my librarian family. I am here to make some trades. First of all, we're going to need four of these. Wait a minute. No. I nearly just made a grave mistake. I forgot I already had books. Now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. We already had a mending book, so we only need two more mending books. We got ooh, silk touch for a pick. That might be for a separate pickaxe, though. Fortune three. We want to take that. Efficiency five. Unbreaking three. And these important ones to begin with, protection four. I think that's what we're going to do at the moment, because I might run out of XP for this. We need two more mendings and two more protection fours. There's the mending books. Ooh, and here's the really expensive ones. I'm going to run out of emeralds, I think, before we can finish this. So I'm going to need to plant some more carrots. It's a good thing we made that diamond hoe. Okay, well, I think these villagers are grumpy with me. They've stopped trading me for a while now. It's been like an hour. IRL like a real-life hour and they still don't want to trade with me anymore They may not be happy with me, but we might honestly just have to uh, Might have to just take what we can get and I think at the moment what I'm gonna do is I don't know if I'm going to put on breaking on the armor because we just want to go to the nether first, right? So what we need to make sure is that we just have at least our sword and our pickaxe ready to go while we're in the nether so that we can get all the blaze rods that we need and maybe do some mining for some quartz to get a little bit more XP while we're in there. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to take efficiency five for the pickaxe. We're going to acquire ourselves a fortune three book and we're going to put that on our pickaxe. Boom. Just like that. Efficiency five, fortune three. That was already a good chunk of XP already. Then we're going to take our Sharpness 5 book and apply that to our sword. Which already had Looting 3 on it, by the way. When I was doing some farming earlier, I went out to go and kill some cows and uh, and some sheep. And I put Looting 3 on the sword. So we've got a Sharpness 5, Looting 3 sword, Efficiency 5, Fortune 3 pick. And most importantly, we have our Diamond Armor. And we already have some levels left over. So let's see how many pieces we can put Unbreaking 3 on. There's the chess piece. There's the leggings, and it looks like that's just going to be it. But you know what? I'll take it. Look at that. Big upgrades. <laughs> big, big upgrades. But you know what makes me real sad? Have a look down the bottom of our screen above our hearts. We only have five armor pieces. Remember last episode how I said that armor doesn't work the same as it does in vanilla? 
Well, this is kind of what I mean. We just did all this work to get an extra piece. When we, when we were wearing this full iron armor set, we had four armor protection ratings are wearing this full set and with the diamond we only have five i think netherite might only be one better but that's kind of just why this mod pack becomes so important because we're going to get so much op and crazy armor that uh it's not really going to matter in the long run anyway now before we head into the nether i really would like to try to get infinity on this bow um just because gas and things like that and anything long range uh the really cool thing about this mod pack though too is that if you have an infinity enchantment on your bow you actually don't need an arrow giving you an extra uh, giving you an extra slot so i might have to wrestle with these villagers a little bit more um we'll see and then i want to try to get infinity and then it's time for the nether so it's been a little while now again and uh they're still not wanting to trade with me but luckily, it's only going to cost 4 XP levels to enchant this uh, bow to get infinity. So, maybe I just need to go mine some blocks. Oh my god, having this diamond pick changes everything. Bow, infinity, thank you very much. And let me show you, look, no arrow in my inventory. And we're locked and loaded. So now the only thing left to do is to go and get ourselves some obsidian. And luckily for me, I have a lava pool close by. So I actually have an idea for our nether portal. Um, but let me go and grab this obsidian and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, we got our obsidian, we got our flint and steel. Uh, the only thing I need is some food, and now because we're doing quite well with emeralds, that we don't really need to worry about eating bread no more. We're going to come over to one of these guys. Yeah, look, they still don't want to trade me. I don't really understand what this is. Can you guys let me know down in the comments if anyone knows? I'm sure a lot of you do. Oh, okay, that was a very good trade. Yeah, you want to trade now, don't you? Hmm? Yeah, I bet she's dude. <laughs> Look at him jumping up and down. So I thought it might have something to do with them not being happy or anything like that. But I've had plenty of villagers kind of just being in the same spot and uh, having no real issues. But hmm, yeah, I don't know. Alrighty, we're ready to go to the nether. And this is going to be my idea for now. Uh, we're probably going to end up changing this because nether portals are really loud and can be really annoying. Um, but for now, I thought, you know what, it'd be pretty cool to have a nether portal here until we get our vault portal so we're just going to do that and who knows if it looks cool enough and how, even if it's quiet when i have the uh the vault portal we might keep it here have like a double portal situation going on here i don't know what do you guys think but without further ado we have our sword we have our pickaxe with fortune three we have our bow we've got some building blocks um i don't know if i mentioned this last episode but you can compress blocks just by having like nine of them in a crafting table it makes a compressed block and uh, it's really good for storage and carrying around and all that good stuff so yeah we have a boat so that we can uh fall off higher places um, unless this mod pack is one of the ones that negates that but we will find out <laughs> even if it's the hard way but pretty much all we need is food our weapons our bow some building blocks and uh some luck wish me luck oh this is always so nerve-wracking going to the nether for the first time Ooh, okay interesting not a bad spawn what we're gonna do before we go anywhere is make sure to add a waypoint here nether portal i'm gonna make that purple boom so now we don't get lost. This is quite an interesting spawn. Oh god, getting a little lag, which always tells me that there's lava close by. But it looks like we're near or in a crimson forest, and we already see some quartz. So what I'm gonna do is let the load, uh, let the load. I'm gonna let the world load for just a second. Let's gather up some quartz, and then we're gonna have a look at our map and see if we got lucky, and maybe there's a fortress nearby. Man, I just, I forgot how good Quartz is as a source of XP. Man, golly. Okay, doesn't look like we got that lucky unless, what is that over there? I don't. I think that's just a special kind of biome. Um, I was really, really hoping that we'd see a nether portal, a uh, nether fortress, sorry, rather. Um, but that's unlucky. I guess we're just going to dig in a, in a certain direction. Um... Let's just go from the portal. We'll just go directly straight from the portal. We're just going to dig one way and see what happens. 
Oh, is that a fortress? My <coughs> voice just cracked. Oh, is that a fortress? I think that is a fortress. I, uh, I also forgot to put mending on the pickaxe before we come here, but, uh, you know, we, we ran out of XP anyways. So this should still be okay, fingers crossed. But I'm pretty sure that be a fortress. Oh, we found it. <laughs> I ended up digging right underneath it, right up into the fortress. That's, uh, that's some good luck, I think. Is it? Ah, uh, it's always a good feeling seeing that notification. A terrible fortress. I'm hoping we get lucky and find one that's kind of enclosed, but that's always a little bit wishful thinking. <laughs> oh, I hear blazes. Oh, there's a spawner right up ahead. Awesome. This is what we're after right here. What we need to do is just build ourselves a little wall for protection. And we can, uh, we can come up and start fighting this guy. Try to dodge. Now, the thing that hurts against blazes the most is actually not their fire, but it's, uh, if you get too close to them, it's their melee damage that does quite a bit of damage. Nasty. Thank God we got a strong sword. We have 14 blaze rods, which is actually more than enough. So guys, for right now, we can get home. We can get out of here and make our way to the end portal. Now, I know we didn't stay long, but I really didn't want to, nor do we need to. We just needed enough blaze powder to be able to get us enough eyes of ender so we can find the nether fortress. And with uh, 14 blaze rods, that's 28 blaze powder. Way more than enough than we need. So with that, we're going to get home and try to look for this fortress. Woo, home sweet home. <laughs> I, that was actually incredibly lucky. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for giving me the luck. Ah, this is actually the first time it's rained in this world. Kind of feels fitting, to be honest, after what we just went through. Anyway, guys and girls, we are ready to go find the end. Now, because we're running short on time in this video, I'm actually going to cut most of the journey out. We do have 12 Eyes of Ender. We br we're bringing an extra 4 Ender Pearls and 6 Blaze Powder. These are just in case uh, too many of these pop. But also I'm hoping to save some Pearls so that when we get into the end, if we're on the platform away from the island, we can we can Ender Pearl over. I've got some blocks, i got some food, my spare bed, the bow, and this is pretty much all I'm hoping we're going to need. So with, yeah, time running short, I really want to defeat the Ender Dragon in this video. So... Let's go find the end portal. First throw is always the most important. Holy, that was a bit laggy. Alrighty, so we are heading in the northeast direction. I'll see you guys there. We found it. Alright, the eye came up right about here, so... First rule of Minecraft, always dig down. I'm having my bucket in my offhand just in case. Oh, oh, wow. Kind of scared me, as it always does. Okay, get rid of that. Oh, man, I always get nervous when it comes to the, to the, uh, to the end. Now comes the hard part, actually. Wait, no, we have, oh, is that on the minimap? Is this the room over here? No way, right? Need some lights. It's a bit dark in here. It actually is this room. Wow. I didn't know that it worked like that. Wow, this minimap is uh, is OP. Okay, now, I know this might sound a little silly, but I am actually not going to place my bed down here. Um, because if, we, if we're successful in this, which I'm kind of... I, I want to be confident in myself. I've done this quite a few times. I've danced this dance a few times before. Um, then I feel like we should be okay, and I don't want to come back through the portal and end up here rather than all the way back home. But before we do that, let's quickly put down a way marker. But that way, whenever we do want to come back here, because we will, then uh, we can. Actually, was there any eyes in this? 
No, it's empty. So we have two extra eyes. And this is why it's always kind of important to bring yourself some extra enderpearls and blaze powder. Here we go. Alrighty, so we ended up inside, which is great. Uh, we're actually on the island. This is awesome. Now, I did uh, I did consider doing the old bed strategy, aka the old uh, <laughs> speed running strategy, but I haven't done that in so long. And I kind of just thought, you know what, let's just fight the, the Ender Dragon the old-fashioned way um, and get some bow practice in while we do it. It's been quite a while since uh, I've just fought the dragon using the bow, so we're going to do that. Oh, oh no, I just realized one grave mistake. I didn't bring any glass bottles to collect the, uh, the dragon's breath. But you know what? That just means we're going to have to come back and do it again at some point. So I'm fine with that. Oh, here comes a perch. Okay. I'm going to get up under here just like this. I'm going to turn hitboxes on. This is an old trick. Now it's time for the dragon to get really loud. Oh gosh, MLG bucket for the win. Golly gosh. So yeah, just in case anybody didn't know that, uh, one of the best ways to do damage to the dragon is by hitting its head. And when it goes to perch like that, so long as you get in this little section here before it does that, then you're pretty much good to go. Until then, until the dragon perches, try to stay away from the middle as much as possible, because when he fires around his dragon breath, oh, he's perching already. Oh, I'm not going to get there. When he's firing around his dragon breath, um, you don't want it to land in the middle because otherwise then you kind of screw yourself. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Oh, you're very loud. You're very loud. Oh, no. Uh, did I just look at a dra Oh, I did. Oh, no. I looked at an Enderman too. I need my blocks real quick. Uh... Just stay calm. It's the key to victory, ladies and gentlemen. You stay calm. Oh, no. Wait, was that an Enderman? Please don't tell me that was an Enderman. Oh, no. The dragon flew away. He, like, disappeared from my render view for a second. That's a shame. All right. Looks like we just have to finish the attack off with aerial attacks. You're going down, dragon. Let's go. Long range snipe. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that. We did it, ladies and gents. We've defeated the Ender Dragon. Time for all this delicious XP. Make it rain! Ow, ow. That's kind of a troll. He uh, dropped his XP right into the uh, dragon's breath. No, some of it went into the portal. Okay, it's fine. We got 68 levels. We got 68 levels. I'm fine with that. Um, now, we cannot forget this very important thing. The dragon egg. Which way did you just go? There he is. Again, just in case anybody doesn't know, the way to def uh, defeat... <laughs> the way to get the dragon egg is by punching it. You can hit it with any object, really. Just hit it once, and it's going to randomly teleport somewhere. Then you want to dig down two blocks, and then one underneath. You want to keep the one that the dragon egg is sitting on. You want to keep that there. Place a block, just like that. So dig down, two, in, one. Place a torch, and then break this block, and the egg will fall onto the torch, and boom. Just like that, you've got yourself the dragon egg. Now, I've just kind of realized I don't know if I bought enough materials to go into the end to get our elytra, but I kind of really want to try. Okay, so before I go in, I just want to quickly mention something. I have noticed quite a few different people uh, go through these end portal end gates by just grabbing their ender pearl and throwing them. That can be really nerve wracking and can also kind of bug out sometimes if you get really unfortunate and you kind of just fall into the abyss and die. Uh, a much easier way to do this is with trapdoors, but since I forgot to bring mine, you can also use water. If you use water and you swim and you get into the swimming animation, you can actually fit right through. We can squish our way in here and we don't actually have to worry about the ender pearl kind of booping us out and killing us. We can uh, kind of take it nice and safely and go in by just boop, scooting in. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. The real reason we are here right now isn't necessarily for our elytra, even though that would be great. We might come back for that. We actually need chorus fruit. 
And the reason being is because we want to craft ourselves the altar to start our vault runs. And to do that, we need obsidian, a diamond block, and we need purple blocks. For purple blocks, we just need four popped chorus fruit each. And that is the key to vault hunters. This right here. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was just about to leave. And we still may not have time for this. But I just noticed something on the... Oh, yes. Yes, I noticed something on my map. Oh, is this it? Did we get lucky? We have to bridge over there, it looks like. Is there a ship? Oh, I don't see it. Wait, is it? No, I don't see a ship yet. Oh, dang it. All right, I've come out as far as I can. I don't have enough building blocks, but I don't think there's a ship out here, unfortunately. Ah, that's a shame. Okay, well... We did it. We defeated Vanilla Minecraft, and unfortunately, yeah, we're not going to have time to go to the end, uh, to the end cities this episode, unfortunately, but that means that we're prepped for it next episode. The important thing is this chorus fruit. The fact that we have this means that we can start to actually get one step closer to our first vault run. So again, to reiterate, we're going to be making our vault altar, which we should be able to make right now, actually. The most expensive part at least for me right now but boom just like that ladies and gentlemen we have ourselves a vault altar now the only other thing that we need is a button now this thing can go right here it's probably not going to sit on this forever but look at this thing it's real cool looking look at that and now we just place our button so I'm going to get into how this works and all the good stuff next episode. We should be, if everything lines up, be doing our very first vault run next episode. I'm so, so excited. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me on this episode. I really do appreciate it. We got a lot accomplished. I'm very proud of myself, and I'm proud of you guys as well for enjoying this series and actually supporting me. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Please make sure to give this video a like if you do enjoy it. I'd really appreciate that. It helps it boost in, in the algorithm. Uh, I would really like to see that. I'd really appreciate that a lot. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And again, tomorrow, or the next video rather, we're going to get into all the good stuff. So I'm super excited. Don't miss the next episode. Anyways, mates, you take care. Please do take care of yourselves and enjoy the rest of your night or day or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys in the next episode. The Almighty Dragon Egg.